Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're gonna be checking out a fan's game and let them know why it's failing. If we take a look at their post from the Builder Bot, they wanna know why the game's failing. It is a chopping game. Uh, do we mean tree chopping? Do we mean a horror game where we're chopping up people? I'm not sure. They spent a few weeks making it and how much did you spend on advertising? They say a lot. And I mean a lot. So a lot is definitely uh, in the eye of the beholder, I guess. A lot to me would be like um, 500,000 Robux, for example. But a lot to someone else could be 100 Robux. So I'll never know what they mean by that. From the outside looking in, we have some nice GFX. It looks like most are done from AI. Some people love it, some people hate it. But I think they did a pretty good job on these ones. We have a decent description, two active players and 55,000 visits. So it does look like they did see some success with their advertising, but the players didn't stay. So we're gonna have to check that out. And there's, okay, okay. If if you spent a lot on advertising, probably could have spent a couple Robux for someone to make some, uh, some, some Game Pass icons. Anyways, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on. All right, jumping in first, uh, first reactions to the game. This is an older trend. Like this, this kind of trend was out quite a while ago and people did everything, treadmills, this one's chopping, there was boxing, arm wrestling, there was everything in this trend. So first things first, man, this trend itself might just be kind of, uh, kind of past its prime, but we will play for a little bit, see if we like the game, see what's going on. It does feel really like, like delayed, like I'm spam clicking. So there's probably a bit of a cooldown in between clicks, but also sometimes I can hit twice. I don't know. I'm gonna play for a little bit, see what I think of the game, and see if I can give you guys an overall opinion. So I've been playing for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, not sure exactly how much time, but the game definitely has one feeling to it, and that is, let me jump on the trend as quickly as possible, and make it the most cash grab possible. And I know that most of these games and most trendy games are meant for only that one reason, right? Make Robux, and uh, it, that's not a bad thing. But there is a point where you can balance out monetization for a game, so you and your team are making money, and absolutely annoying players. <laughs> Number one, man, uh, everything that is part of the gameplay that you don't have to buy, for example, spins, gifts, they seem like such an afterthought. They're way tucked away at the top. Heck, I didn't even know I had spins until right now. And then we have this whole side of stuff to buy. This is this is an ick for your boy right here. Not really a reason your game would fail, but it definitely doesn't look the best from the outside looking in. Next up, man, holy cow. Why are there so many buttons? There's got to be a bit of a way to optimize this, man. Teleport. All right, you don't own the game pass. Axes for some wins. Uh, it doesn't tell us what the axes do, though. So that's another kind of uh, yikes. Oh, there we go. 50 now it does. It's a little strange, but they give us a damage boost. That's nice. I'd say overall, man, the game just feels behind itself. Like, let's see this. If I equip this cat... I'm gonna click equip best right now. And as you can see, it just takes time to do everything. Like nothing feels smooth or like it works exactly how it should, I guess. What is it called? The debounce, I think, or a delay, whatever it is. I think it starts with a D. It feels like there's one of those on every single portion of this game. Nothing happens right when you click. Heck, even if I click on this teleport thing to buy the game pass, watch this. I'm clicking now and it just takes like seconds. And it's not a huge deal with one or two things happening, but when it's everything in the game, it does just feel a little bit off. Up next, man, the balance of this first zone flew through it. Second zone, maybe it's because I haven't upgraded my axe. Maybe it's because I don't have the newer pets. Who knows, man? It just feels way, way slower. So I would imagine if this feels let's say 20 times or 30 times slower than zone one. Oh gosh, the next zone, I'm not too excited for it, which definitely leads us to a bigger problem, but I'll see what that next zone is when I get in there, how it feels. If it does feel like way worse than this zone, that's a huge issue because it makes players not want to progress to that next zone. Simulators shouldn't necessarily get harder unless we're getting more of a reward and that reward doesn't seem too uh, apparent in this game. 
All right, guys, I just got enough to move on to the next zone. Still with my old pets. It, it just feels like you don't need the pets as much as you probably do. But here we go, guys. Next zone. Let's see if it feels delayed. By this zone. Okay, that, that wasn't that bad. So we have a plus 100 here and previously was plus 35. That's quite a better jump. We went from 1 to 35 and then 35 to 100. Not bad. Did VIP also get better? Yeah, VIP is getting 0.5 percent better or 0.5 times better whatever that would be each zone not mad at that new egg cost 25 all right let's see we also have the gold machine and i didn't even check out this upgrades machine that could be a reason that the game was feeling kind of slow there's a whole upgrades machine and i didn't even look at it what can we upgrade my mans oh just walk speed for trophies um okay was definitely uh, a bit anticlimactic there also bro just it like wow Pretty sure I mentioned this earlier, man. The monetization, uh, kind of finding a mix between like, hey man, support us. Buy these game passes that are gonna help with your uh, your grind. It's just everywhere, man. More hatch, more hatch. Uh, they push this, oh my gosh. More hatch, more hatch, more hatch. Literally in one zone, there is three game pass signs. And I love game pass signs. Let me tell you the proper way to use them, or at least the best way that I've found with my past games. This right here, perfect. More hatch right next to the egg makes great sense. Over here, why are we trying to sell people more hatch game passes twice, by the way, next to a part where you train? I would assume there's one that has to do with the axe. Double strength. Why not try to sell that double strength one where you're training your strength? And if you had a sign over here, oh, or even on the end, you could sell the double wins. But instead, every single sign is selling this hatch. Let me see, is this like your most expensive game pass? Triple hatch is cheap. I don't know, man, it's your cheapest game pass, so I don't even get it. Even in the next zone, it's the only game pass getting promoted. Maybe that's a bug, we'll, we'll count it to a bug for now. Thank God, I'm almost done chopping this 250,000 health tree, and I get my 150 wins, and I could buy more hatch. <laughs> All right, 475 wins is needed for the next one, but only 25 for the uh, for the egg. All right, let's go ahead and buy an egg. Let's see what we get. Uh, did we get anything? Where? Okay, we did get something. Ooh, a plus 80. All right, so let's get all new pets and really try to progress in this game. Oh, we got a 185. All right, equip best. Now we have some good pets. And we get a thousand each time we hit this. We also get an egg here. I will say the balance, that, like that type of balance, we got the candy egg at about the time we got to this zone or a little after we're in this zone. So that definitely had to take a little bit of planning from these developers. The main thing, I can't hit on the game too much, man. I think it is a trend that is a little bit too past its prime. This type of game definitely took over Roblox at one point, but is it still here to uh, to thrive? I'm not too sure. Especially because this doesn't feel like it adds anything great or just anything new to this genre. And the biggest thing we can know or that we do know about trend games is they always come back, but with a twist. You guys remember when clicker games were massive on Roblox? You click a button, you get a click, you buy stuff. Yeah, those were insanely massive. Now we have RNG games, which are the exact same thing. We are clicking a button at the bottom of our screen, and instead of getting a click, we are getting something else. Every single trend comes back, man. I don't know what this line game trend is going to come back as, but I'm quite, uh, I'm quite intrigued. Anyways... This, it feels like you did it past the trends prime and you didn't uh, innovate it. So there's nothing for new players to look forward to and playing it just feels like you're kind of stuck in the past a little bit. I don't think it's a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. You could definitely optimize uh, this, like make the signs match the current grinding area. For example, this could be 2x damage maybe. Down there could be 2x wins. Here, 2x strength. If you want to put the signs, at least make a match where you're grinding at and i would take out a bit of this stuff the ui seems super overbearing i don't think you need all of these plus five to plus 100 i would delete the five 29 robux for only five wins how much is 100 49 yeah i would take out the five wins i would take out all of this if it was my game to be fair i would oh i don't even know what to do down here man i'd put this over here like these buttons 
Oh, these aren't the same size. Just noticed that. Uh, this is this is squished weird and not centered and don't oh, don't get me started on UI. But here's what I would do. I would move all of these down to the bottom. So we have uh, the quest, auto train and auto chop, probably quest in the middle since it's the different button. And then I would move all of these up to here. Button, 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 button. There's still too many. I would try to condense those. Kind of how Pet Simulator did. You open the shop and then you have the tabs in here. It just cleans up the screen quite a bit. But I do think that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, and if this dev guy sees this video, let me know if you plan on changing anything or if you're starting another project. But if you did enjoy, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.